Aloha everybody, this is Gigi from Kauai Community College. In this video, we will be adding in base 15. That's right, base 15. Okay, so before we start doing addition in base 15, uh, what we need to understand would be what are the numerals in base 15? And then we need to also pay attention to place value okay so um, but more importantly what are the numerals in base 15 uh, base 15 you will have 15 numerals we will have the traditional 1 2 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 well we need to have 15 numerals so um, 10 is not a numeral in um, the traditional sense of writing one zero because we are repeating the one and the zero, right? So we cannot write 10. What we can write, however, is A. So A means 10. B means 11. C means 12. D means 13, and E means 14, and that would be all that you can have because when you have 15, you make a full group of 15, which would be one zero, right? So a full group of 15 is one zero. So all of the numerals that you have are from 0 to 9 and then A, B, C, D, E. Okay, so that are the numerals that you can use to write a number in base 15. So suppose you have a problem that say A, 2, C, in base 15, that is a three-digit number in base 15, plus 584 in base 15, and notice that is not 584, it is 584 in base 15. Okay, so when we are adding um, in base 15, we would make groups of 15. Just like how when we are adding in base 10, we make 10, right? So um, let's pay attention now to um, our place values and line them up correctly. So A, 2, C in base 15 is added two, five, eight, four, and base 15. Now you don't have to draw the line, but I do just because um, I, I think my brain works better that way, okay? Um, and then in terms of a place value, uh, we really say this means ones, these are 15, and then um, the next, place value would be what 15 groups of 15 which would be 225 right those that's what those are worth um, but they are not as important as the numerals that you have to write when you are adding um, because we do have to make groups of 15 so if we were to start with c c plus 4 well, if I need to make a full groups of 15, C is right here. I need one, two, three to make a full groups of 15. So I will break four into three and one more. C and three makes one full groups of 15 plus one single. So that would be one one in base 15. 
So I have here one in the first place value and then this second place value one get to go up to here. Okay, then the next level at level two, I have two plus eight plus the one that we have moved forward. That would be two plus eight. So two, eight plus one is nine. So we are here already. Plus one plus two, that would be B, right? We cannot say 11 because 11, uh, one, one means something else in base 15, right? But we can say that, hey, if I grab, let's say, let's do that one more time here. If I grab the biggest number, because that's probably is a strategy that you have um, learned. In addition, when we are counting up, if we start at eight, which is right here, and we have to move up to, we're here. And then we move up one more, then we're here. So that would be B in base. 15. So in the second place, we have 2 plus 8 plus 1 is B in base 15. Okay, lastly, we have for the third place value A plus 5. Okay, let's go and take a look at A. A is, A is right here, okay. How many do we need to um, make a full group of 15? I would need one, two, three, four, five. I would need five to make a full group of, a full group of 15. Luckily, this is five, right? So we have one full group of 15. How do we write one full group of 15? One full group of 15, no singles. So one zero is one full group of 15. So here we have A plus five is one zero. So we got write zero in this third place value and one in the fourth place value. So, we would say A, 2C in base 15 plus 5, 8 plus 5, 8, 4 in base 15 is going to equal to 1, 0, B, 1 in base 15. Okay, so don't let bases bigger than 10 confuse you. The process is the same. If you're in base 15, you're making groups of 15 when you're adding. If you're in base 8, you're making groups of 8 when you're adding. And then if you're in base 5, you're making groups of 5. And of course, if you were in the traditional base 10, you would make groups of 10. And it works the same way in all number systems.